Okay, and this furnace here, I've had some questions. Uh, this one has clean outs on it, and I showed how to vacuum this thing out with the clean outs. And people have asked me if their furnace doesn't have clean outs, and a lot of them don't, uh, how to do it, how to clean it. It's not much more complicated than doing the original uh, one that I showed. However, I will go over it. Uh, your vent pipe is right there. I'm going to pull that vent pipe off, and then we're going to uh, put our vacuum hose into that vent pipe, and we're going to use compressed air like we did before. Okay, here's a look from that uh, uh, vent collar. Uh, you can kind of see in there that goes around the central heat exchange or the central combustion chamber. Now I'm going to go up here. Now that's a, the combustion chamber there. Uh, and we'll, I'm going to get up above this thing so you can see. This doesn't have any ductwork on it so you can see it. Uh, the heat exchanger is actually here. That's that square thing. Goes all the way around. Okay, here's from above. There's your combustion chamber there. There's a pipe comes out of the back of the combustion chamber, and I'll show you the inside of this too. And here's the heat exchanger. That's that square thing going all around like that. Uh, that's the only heat exchanger in this thing. There's nothing else to it. That's it's fairly simple. Okay, again looking down from above, I've taken the top off this heat exchanger. Now this heat exchanger is welded together. This is just a toy I'm playing with. Uh, you can't get into this. You can't take the top off these things. But right up showing there, right there is that pipe going to the heat exchanger. There's your combustion chamber down there. This is what you're trying to avoid damaging. You don't want to put your uh, compressed air down there because it'll tear that thing up. It's made out of really wimpy stuff. So uh, I would not mess with that. What you want to do is get your your uh, air from your air compressor right in there. And that'll do about half of it. And then the other half of it you'll do uh, with uh, uh, coming through the vent. Okay, here we're showing it with our long uh, air hose and this goes way up there like that and blows in that way and I'm going to do that at the same time as I'm pulling out this collar here okay here's a look at where I've got the vac hose here on the vent uh, collar and when I start it up, it's going to start pulling through the heat exchanger and into that hole I showed you in the back. And you can see here I've got that in there. I've got the uh, vacuum cleaner running and I'm blowing air up into that pipe uh, above there. That should break uh, some of the crap loose. Okay, once you've got what uh, the best you can get without tearing your uh, combustion chamber all up. Then you're going to pull this off and you're going to run this down inside and the air also. Okay, you notice I got this propped open. We want that open all the time. We're doing any of these uh, vacuum because we could damage that again the, the combustion chamber. So, okay, I've got the hose up here ready to go and I'm going to get my air and we'll start doing this. This is very similar to the way I did it before. And I'm going to go ahead and stick that in there with the vacuum cleaner running. Try to get it as far back on either side as I can and that's going to try to blast a lot of that stuff loose. Uh, it's not this is not really the best way to do this I mean this is the method is fine but uh, you are far better off if you use a uh, 
uh, have a back truck with a large vacuum because they can do a better job than a shop vac uh, could ever do. If this is the way you, you do that, if this is the only thing you got, then that's what you use.